reading gauges and scales. For example, if we were looking at um, a set of scales and we were weighing, say, one of our fish, um, and we had a mark at, at 20 and then a mark at 30, and there was a few more few lines in there, but they weren't actually had a number written next to them. There'll be some sort of graduation on the scale, so uh, there may be a big mark where, say, a five is supposed to be, and only the tens are marked. Five in the middle. Fifteen. Forty-five. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. So we use pressure gauges uh, here to determine if our filters um, are obviously operating under the correct um, pressure. So often then you need to determine where the needle is sitting um, and if it's not on an exact mark then you'll have to make a, make a, I suppose, an uh, educated guess on what you think that that number is. Fill in the gap. Estimate. Bit of educated guesswork there guys, it doesn't have to be exactly right, but as long as we're in the ballpark we should be right. 